simple forms for uh, basic shape. We're going to end up starting with a centered piece of clay. You want to put the hole in the middle. Um, you're going to open it up. We're going to do exactly the beginning start like what we've done for the bowls and for the cylinders. You're going to make a full cylinder though, and then you're going to turn around and actually take that and shape it from the top down. You're going to start with the very top. So the top was again, what was this first part called? The lip. The, lip, the, neck, the neck, the shoulder, the belly, and the foot. So that's how you're going to form it. You're going to form it from the top down. All right, so I'll get the clay on here. How many of you guys cone your clay when you actually start? Cone it? Yeah. Okay, coning, I'll show you guys how to do that. You're going to basically take it up into a column shape. You're going to push it over and push it back down. If you do that a couple times, the clay is kind of hard. You do that a lot, add more water into the clay and make it softer. And it'll also make it so the clay is mixed up a little better. All right, so for your wheel, for your silver wheels, you want to have it on the faster speed. So I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Hands on either side. I'm going to push this up from the sides and push it up into a column shape. So like this, I'm going to take and push it over and push it back down. The extra clay that's starting to sprout out from underneath around the bottom, I want to take and scrape that off. Take it back to the main ball. I'm gonna get my hands on either side, press straight down and get the clay centered. Okay, for the bottom thickness, when we're doing this, we're doing exactly like what we did for the bowls and for the cylinders. They need to be 3 eighths an inch thick for the very bottom and the middle. Um, I suggest that you use a pencil to double check the thickness like what we've done for the other projects. I have a needle tool, which is basically the next step of tools for being able to do that compared to just using a pencil. Um, a lot of the students in the advanced class have these other tools. Um, basically, it's the same concept of having a pencil. It's just the good thing is that it doesn't break off. Um, it's one of these tools, and it's a needle tool. Um, I'm going to use that to poke, check the bottom here in a second. Um, <clears throat> make sure I get the water out of there. I'm going to start to widen it out, so it's going to make it easier to double check the thickness down there. I'm going to stop it for a second. Take the tool, poke it down in the clay. Get down to the very bottom and pull that out. Is that the thickness it should be? Yeah. Now about, it should be just a little about. thinner. But the good thing is this, it's already poked that hole down there. I'm going to have to try to smooth it out, so I'll just push down a little harder and make sure that that bottom is the right thickness. I don't want to go all the way through. If I do, and I'll make it so that I'd have to start over. I don't want to do that. So now I know that right now that that's the right thickness. So three eighths an inch across the bottom. I guess. Yes, please focus. I'm trying to do this for your benefit. I'm going to try to open this up wide enough so I can fit my hand down inside of it. So I have to pull this open just wide enough so I can fit my hand down in there flat. I'm going to take and make sure I get all the water out of here now. How fast could you do one of these? Hmm? How fast can you do one of these? Um, I could throw one of these in probably two or three minutes if I didn't slow down to go through all the steps. Uh, right now, to pull up the wall, left hand on the inside, right hand on the outside, pinch on either side, kind of like what we did when we were doing our cylinders, and pull straight up. The top is a little uneven. You can take your left hand, hold on to the clay, use your sponge on your right hand, and hold down on the top to level that out. Now I need to pull up from the bottom here again. So even pressure on either side, pinching in the clay, going straight up. So if you practice enough, the cylinder should get this easy. I know it looks like it's doing it by itself. I know we practice these some, but the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. And for a vase shape, you have to start with the cylinder. So I'm going to pull this up one last time here. How long do we have? You guys are going to have seven class days to work on your vases. On um, one or two? One. If you get more than one done, great. We're trying to get one done. This is the last project that we're going to do on the potter's wheel before we go to Thanksgiving break. Hey, it's the boys. I'm about to get fatter, so fatter than I am. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to be big with you, right? Hmm? As long as you don't end up like the turkey, you're fine. I don't care, bro. All right. So now I want to start off by forming this top edge. What is this called again? The lip. Yeah, the lip. I need to form the lip. <laughs> I'm going to take my finger and thumb. I'm going to pinch in the clay and the finger and thumb on my left hand. And I'm going to use my right hand on top, and I'm going to roll that out. I don't really have to use the sponge in my hand. I can do that without <clears> that. So basically, I'm pinching it against the clay, and I'm pulling that out and curving that down. 
So I'm forming the lip right now by doing that. So now to form the neck. That was the first stage. The second stage now to form the neck. I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to, like I'm pointing. I'll hold on to the lip with my finger and thumb. I'm going to poke down at an angle. And I'm going to start to form the neck. Just like that. Hmm? Yeah, a little bit. Doesn't really hurt though. Okay, so I started the neck. I now need to start to form the shoulder. I'm going to reach down inside and I'm going to lightly push out and take the clay up. Into my wallpaper. And just short of going through the neck. I need to do that again where I'm going down low here, just below where I started last time and rolling up into where I created the shoulder. You can do that down again one more time, down below, and go up into the shoulder, and slowly bridging all that together so it's all nice rounded together. The very last part I need to do that where I need to push up is down here at the bottom for the foot. So down here, the foot, I'm in the belly right now. I'm going up through into where the shoulder is, and I'm taking this all the way up to the neck. I'm trying to smooth all that out so it's one nice even curve so I get a good shape. Okay, now down around the bottom down here, I need to trim off the extra clay. So I'm going to take the sharpened stick. You guys use a pencil. Same idea of a sharpened stick. This is just flat. I'm going to take this, look at the shape on the inside, and I'm going to cut down and in at an angle, following the shape on the interior on the exterior to finish That's the foot down here. Pencil. It's just a little easier to hold on to. Okay, so I cut that down and in. And now I need to take a little bit of water and put it down in that seam line. I'm gonna slow the wheel down a little bit. I could have slowed it down a little while ago. For you guys, you have those two speeds, your fast speed and slow speed. You should do all the forming probably on the slow speed, even though I'm at it turning fast. So I'm gonna push up underneath this until it pops off. I'll take and cut that off. And now I need to go and do my undercut down around the bottom and finish cleaning up the form. Is that It's really close. Are you going to sell that? Um, I'm using it as a demonstration right now. Not worried about that. That's like one of the first questions you asked me. <laughs> are you going to sell that? Yeah, are you going to yeah. sell that one? Man? I have no idea. How do you up and yeah. buy? Hell yeah, bro. All right. So now I need to take and put water all the way around. Face up. Then I want to take the wire tool. I'm going to pull it underneath a couple times until it slides. I'm going to get the water up around it. I'm going to do this a few times until I see it move. What tool do I need after this to take this off? Okay, what else do I need? A board and paper. And then basically, how to use the pot lifters? You have to wet them first. Yeah, they need to be wet and clean. You're going to slide them straight in. Pick it straight up, put it down on the board, slide them straight out, and basically put your name on the paper and put your piece up on the shelves up there in the back. So this is the size of what you guys are trying to do. Okay? I'll do another one. I'll do a bigger one. You're going to tape it. Go ahead and hit stop. 